Hey, just remember everything inside here could potentially kill you. All right, today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get it planned out because what we wanna end up doing is on this spot right here, I'm gonna put a UV filter for the well. So you can see that we do have a filtration system coming through, then it's gonna go to the UV, we're gonna get mounted in here. But now we're just gonna figure out what we need. So this is what we currently have. You can see it comes in from the pressure tank that this has actually been changed out. All this is new since we moved in. But the only thing I haven't done yet is I left plenty of room so I could put that in. So, But I just gotta get it planned out exactly what I need so that way I can hopefully only make one trip to the store. All right, did already open, but this is everything we got for it. So you can see here, and then here's our light. It actually came with two lights and you know the, the clear tube that goes inside. All right, here we are again today. So now we're gonna go ahead and start getting this installed. I do have most of the parts I need. I do not have everything yet, but the one thing I realize I really need is I need electrical power here for this. So what I'm gonna do with this is it's gonna have its own dedicated, so the power panel is actually just right off the camera here. So we're gonna go ahead and run a line new from there to here, so it's all GFCI. And I have a light outside here by the pump that's going to need power also. So it's going to be taking care of both. And you see what I mean? This is where I'm going to need the power from. And right there is my panel. So it's going to be an easy up over to here. And then from here, I need to come over and actually power this switch for the lights that are out in the pump room. You might notice that this, you know, actually I cut this off when I was rewiring when we put a new pump and everything in because they had this switch tied off of the pressure switch. Because if you know, there's 220 coming here. So what they did is they just took one leg and ground to make the light work for over here. So I go ahead and don't feel safe with that. So I cut that off. And now we're going to actually tie this in with that receptacle. This all wired back up. I end up not using a new piece of wire. I have another piece from a different project that's gonna be long enough to reach. All right, so here you can see a little bit easier. I mean, right now there is no power coming to this, so it's not gonna work, but it comes up across to the ceiling and then over to here where I do have them hooked up to the load side because the line side is gonna go from here to the breaker box. So that way everything that's connected to this afterwards will be protected by this. And just remember everything inside here could potentially kill you. So if you're not certain on what to do, you know, please ask for help. Probably consult a professional and get someone that knows how to do this or someone's help. All right, got the receptacle all closed up here and wired up. And I have the wire, you can see it all the way over there, just in the box. So now I gotta get that part done. And before I close this up, I did actually use a multimeter and tested it to make sure everything was good between here, the switch over there, and the power panel. All right, you can see this is the one I have it on. So this one is now on and energized. So we're going to go ahead and get the cover back on this. All right, we just got the cover on. So now we're gonna come over here, turn the switch. Light is working in there. All right, come up here. We're gonna hit that test. No, there's test. Hit test, no light. Okay, reset. And we got light. All right, electrical parts done. All right, like I said before, if you're uncomfortable with this or you have no idea what you're doing, consult a professional or hire an electrician, even just doing a receptacle like this. 
just that way you can be safe. And yes, this is a GFCI, especially when we're dealing with all the water that is going to be right here below it. We want to make sure that we're safe.